Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to jump into some brief technical analysis on Harmony One. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe. Tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord and uh, links in the description down below. Fantastic community talking crypto 24 seven it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not check it out today right let's uh, get right into this right so this is uh, harmony one paired up with usdt uh, this is the hourly chart binance is the data source here okay so basically what we're doing here is we've been tracking an abc structure this is basically a 335 corrective pattern and now we've got the reversal this reversal comes on the back of bitcoin also starting to bounce up okay and um, so what we'll do is we'll just check what's going on with this reversal to the upside and we want to see if this is going to be an impulsive structure it looks pretty impulsive to me and um, so we just want to check a couple of things first of all we need to know how low this particular candle here is okay so this comes in at 11.148 and this one over this side comes in at 11 0.147 so this one is lower than this big red one over here and this is important because this has to be our starting point of this move upwards okay and actually we take a look at it there isn't exactly a lot of noise in here um so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to bring this back down into a 30 minute chart see if that makes anything a little bit clearer so quite clearly we have one pullback right here so we are going to take this as our high and we're going to take that as our low okay then we're going to go ahead and move this over to the low point of that pullback here we can see that we do hit the one over the 1.618 in fact so that actually is a pretty good move upwards so therefore we know that that there is going to be marking our wave two so what we'll do is we'll grab hold of our uh, moves we'll go one uh, we'll move up for wave two down for wave uh, sorry up for wave one down for wave two up here for wave three and currently in wave four and then we'll have that final fifth wave go higher. Okay, so now we need to understand where are we pulling back to? What kind of damage are we thinking? So again, we're going to just grab hold of our fibs here. We're going to take uh, the bounce low. So this being, yeah, let me just run this back down into a 30 minute chart. See if that makes any clearer or a 15 minute chart. Okay, cool. So this here is our low point. Okay and bring that back up. And um, so th <clears throat> this here is our low. This here is our high. And we obviously have our high point just here as well. So we'll just drop that. Okay, that basically means 12.47 is going to be the most probable. Uh, obviously, it's already met, met the minimum requirement here. Um, so again, it's not uh, that we need to necessarily uh, come down massively. So we'll take a look at the stochastic. Where does that sit? We're actually in the oversold area already. Um, so let's take a look from where we are right now down to there. It's about 1%. Uh, so that's not too bad at all. Uh, obviously, invalidation of the fifth wave going higher is set uh, right here on top of this wave one so i'll go ahead and draw that in and i will go ahead and remove that line because we don't need it uh this one here we'll just get rid of that um, and then so yeah this one basically comes in at 11.741 okay so basically if the price were to drop down that low which would be um grab hold of my price movements here uh from the current price you know about four percent or so okay um so understanding that and understanding where we're likely to go i think uh, i will draw this uh this final fifth wave based on 12.47 as a possible low point so we should take that as our area to start with we're going to grab from the high we're going to come down into that range and then we're going to grab hold of our rectangle here and we're going to mark up the most probable area um, for that fifth wave to go uh, which will put us right into that sweet spot okay then i'm going to go grab these price labels and i'm going to mark this up to make it a little bit clearer for us and this actually comes in at uh, 12.8 819 on the low side of things and on the higher end of the spectrum here we've got um basically 68 there so 13.068 on harmony one i'll remove the fibs um so now we get an idea as to what we're thinking we're thinking of a a fourth wave coming down here potentially um just in some kind of abc function so we have that as a an a b c okay and then we'll be looking for this next wave to come up a little bit um, and if we do take that from that low point up to the minimum threshold here we're talking about another six or so percent before we maybe see a bigger correction overall for um, for harmony one invalidation though if we did drop down lower than 11.741 essentially that would invalidate that fifth wave structure going upwards okay now would mean it's not possible uh, and all that kind of stuff once that comes in though i would expect to find some kind of abc structure uh, of significance okay so it should be 
be significant in its size is what I kind of mean by that and um, big enough to basically correct the four hour and eight hour stochastic RSI etc okay um, but it's good to see an impulsive structure here and uh, we've got an oversold stochastic RSI almost here so I do think that's likely to occur here we'd like to find that entry and then we'll come up uh, ride that up if we wanted to right let's take the larger time frame so we need to bring down our four hourly stochastic so this final fifth wave will be the last push upwards before potentially bringing back down into some kind of larger deeper ABC correction and um, again we have an a hourly chart that's also up there and um, but the daily has quite a bit of room still to grow right so some kind of correction and um, before another surge on upwards um, and ultimately what that will create is uh, the finishing moves if I actually bring this back down into our hourly chart and zoom on out here uh, potentially what we're talking about is some kind of ABC function before maybe pulling back down again and in the case of uh, everything that we've got going on here for Harmony 1 uh, there were basically five waves over here uh, this will be our ABC bounce going up I would expect fortunately five waves to come down now the higher the B wave goes in the middle here uh, the lower or the higher low that we'll set with our next five waves down okay so the pattern should end up being a five three five pattern here on the slightly larger scale and um, so although this looks good and we're moving on up it does not mean that we are not going to pull back down later and there will be a correction that will be due so uh, looking to kind of ride this up take advantage of those highs and then come back down and take advantage of the lows okay because we can make money in both directions if we are uh, you know familiar with how to do so so join us in discord if you want to know a little bit more about all of that kind of education or that kind of stuff so yeah harmony one's looking pretty good right now um pretty much business as usual nothing too much uh, to kind of talk about here uh, i'm not looking at setting any new lower lows or anything like that um these structures holding out pretty well so we'll just have to see how it plays out going further forward but uh for now it's looking pretty good we should be looking at progressing up nicely and um, before we go into any more deeper corrective moves guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one